coming in hot. Alright, so now we are coming to produce under the graphic projection or the various views of this object, and that's what you have here. Now, basically, what we are coming to do is you are coming to draw this same object in two different perspectives. First, you are going to draw it in a front elevation, the plan. The plan is looking at it from the top, the left end elevation looking at it from the side. Now, no arrow has been given to show where the front elevation is, so we have to take a front elevation. You always pick the side that's the longest side to be a front elevation. This side has a size of 58, and here is 80. So obviously, here is going to be where I always going to point. So this will be a front elevation. Now, for our front elevation, we are looking at it in this direction. We are going to assume, we are going to not assume, we are going to actually see what we draw. So, so let me mark. So if you look at it from this side, you obviously see this part. Right. Then you also see this part. Then what else will we see? We also see this. Then what else will we see? You are going to see this, but then it's going to be a hidden line in between. So that's that's it for the plan. Sorry, for the front elevation. Now for the plan, we are looking at it from the top. So what are you going to see? You are going to see this side. I'm going to mark this with a cross. You also see this side. Oh, sorry, you didn't see it. Then you see this one too. Next, you also see this. Then what else do you see? I think that as well. Then for the left end elevation, what will we see? You are looking at it from this direction. So you obviously see this one. So let me try it as a circle. You see this side. But then you are supposed to see so you are supposed to see this side, but then you wouldn't see it because it's a block. So you show it by hidden detail line. And that's it. So let's start drawing. Alright, so let's begin. So we begin by first drawing our two principal axes. So let me draw. So I'm gonna draw the vertical one too. I'm going to measure one centimeter or ten millimeters from each side so that it wouldn't all be together. The question is asking us to draw it in first angle. So the front elevation is going to be in this quadrant, the plan, then the left end elevation. If it were to be in third angle, the plan would rather be this way, the front elevation, the left end elevation. So we are drawing, let's start. The total height is 49, total width is 80. So let's draw that one.
then eighty. So now let's draw a box. Yes, we have eighty by forty nine. Now let's start. We know this to be thirty. Sorry. We know this to be thirty, and this to be forty nine. So this distance is going to be forty nine minus thirty, and that will be nineteen. We're going to draw ninety thirty. So I'm measuring the 19, 19 is over here, let me see, and that's 30, so let me also project this line too, now let's move on, this has a distance of 20, so let's measure the 22. Here. And the height here has been given as 11. So let's measure 11 to in this. So that's my 11. I'm going to draw. Now this will come down. This will also come down. Now moving on. What is left is this this part. Now from the previous video realize this the distance was 48 so we need the radius to be 24 and the distance from here is 16 so let's measure it so here is 16 on this side and here is also 16 on this side and here is 48 so the midpoint to be 24 so that's where we have our circle. So let's, so let's measure 24. Or you can stand here and open to this. And draw. Now moving on. Next. We wouldn't see this part, but then they are going to be shown by short dashes, and they have a height of 15. So we measure 8 here, measure 8 also here. I'm going to project it down. Another one here. Then distance of fifteen. is there yeah. so we are done with the front elevation 
Let's move on to the plan. Now for the plan. We are going to see this. This. Then this part. Then this part to in addition. Excuse me. And that part too. So let's start. What is the width? The width is what? 40. This one is 80. So, so let's measure 40. That's 40. And that's what you have there. Next. I'm going to draw this one. This stands of 16. Let's go. Now, it has a height of sorry, that's a distance of. Now on this one. This is sixteen. Then it comes this way. We have a sixteen. Then it comes this way. This and this. This is twenty. So it will be ten ten. So it's going to come down a distance of ten millimeters. So let's see. So here's my ten. That's my ten. Great project. All right, so what else do we see? We have this one. Right, and it's a distance of ten millimeters. Right, so before we move on, I'm going to deepen the front elevation so I wouldn't confuse us with the different lines we have. So this is what you have here. This is what you have here. This. This. Then this side are short dashes because they are hidden. And 
Yeah, thank you. Now let's continue. We have to draw this part. But let's pick this length 58. The total. The total length was rather 58. So let's see. 58 is here. Let me complete it, the box, so that we know where exactly we are working within. Now we have measured out this part, so let me do that one too. I'm going to take in that one. I'm just taking in the lines here we already drawn so that we see our progress so far. Alright, so let's move on. So now we see this out uh, this one projects a distance in this direction like this. But then the light is a semicircle. At this point, we have a semicircle here, so we can project these lines downwards. Then you have this side too. So let me do that. So I'm just projecting where the short dash intersects with the semicircle. So we have our two lines now. Then that one is going to aid us to get this one too. So now we are sorry. So now we are done with this top part. Let's move on to this side and this side. And this has a distance of ten. So let's measure out that one. And let's see what is left is this one. Right. Now we are going to draw a forty five degree angle in this side on this side. We are going to project all these lines upwards and it's going to aid us to get our left end elevation. So let me do that right now. So next I'm going to draw a 45 degrees line. So somewhere around here. That's our midpoint, right? So somewhere. And you project all the rest of the lines to the top and that's going to aid us to get the left end elevation
Right, so you have projected all the lines to the top. Next, let's see. Let's draw this 40, then this 10. And remember, it comes down a distance of 30. So we're going to measure 40. So this is our 40 line. Then it comes, it comes down a distance of 30. This is our 30 line. Then it goes a distance of 10. And that's our 10 line. Then it comes to this edge. Now let me take it so you see it. Then it goes here 10. Then 30. Then 40. All right, you have this one. That's this one you have here. That's it over here. Now you see, yeah, there's a hole here, but then you can't see it. This one. So you're going to indicate it with short dashes. And it has a distance up to this circle. And that's this circle. So then this one will take care of this. So let's see. So let's project from this circle to to this side. The reason why we are doing that is because there's also this circle that we didn't see down here like this. So this is what I come to show in addition to these ones. So they'll all be short dashes. So Short dashes. Then short dashes to vertical. Then short dashes to in this one. So that's the essence why we need to project all the lines. So it does get just for the parts. Now, where this line intersects, let's project it downwards to this side to help us complete the plan. So it intersects. I'm going to draw it to this one. Then where it intersects, I'll draw. Right. So now we now have a fair idea of where it's supposed to end. It seems you left something in the left end duration. Let's look at something. There's this hole to here, distance of five millimeters. So you're also supposed to show the hole with short dashes. So you measure five millimeters and a height of eleven. Height of eleven. Then short dashes. So let's quickly do that one. So five millimeters here. Then let's project it down. So you have that I think it's too faint. Let me deepen it a bit. 
to help that fiber. The distance of 11 millimeters. And we have already measured, have, have measured the 11 from here. So, short dashes to this point. Then short dashes in this point too. Alright, so we do this to intersect here. So let's draw it to, to this line. Alright. So now for the plan, let's finish up. This, 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 this. So that's what you have. This, this, this. Wait. <laughs> Let's look at things one. This one is the same as this one. So you need to project this line downwards too. And project the other one to down. Now I think we are now ready to get our shape now. So this line comes all the way to this point. Then it goes up to this point. This one too comes all the way to this point to this point this line is being projected here to this point in here let's look at this one too sorry this point rather in this point so let's draw Right, so this is now this one. Sorry, it's now this one. So let's see this and this last one. So this one joins to this one. This one to joins to this one. Check it. Then this also goes here. And this also goes here. And that's it. Let's check to see if you haven't left anything out. For the front elevation, we said this and this. So we have this and this. This is also this one. Now for the plan, we have this one, that's this, then this side, then this one. And what else? This, which is also here. Then this baseline. And that's also the baseline. For the letter elevation, we have this main shape. That's this main shape. Then this short dashes begin. And this one. And that's it. So once you draw, anytime you are drawing in the autographic projection, always remember to project your lines to the side and downwards because that's going to aid you to get the other parts of the drawing and that's it for now thank you